Hi, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I read all kinds of genres as you will notice if you watch any of my other videos and I am constantly interrupted by my two dogs. This is one of them. So that's really all you need to know about the channel. So let's talk about the books that I just recently got. First, we're going to talk about the last set of books that I bought. I went shopping at secondsale.com and I got these books. The End by G. Michael Hopf. This is book one of the New World series. If you've been watching my hauls, I accidentally bought book two and three, I think, in a sale one time because I didn't realize that they were not the first book. And so, I picked this one up because it was on sale and so now I have all three books for this series. I've not started any of them but I have them here. Then I have The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. This I got because Kate from the Literary Apothecary, this is one of her favorite books and she talks about it all the time. So I got this one. The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. I think that's how you say the last name. First of all, you can see this little bookmark in here. This came from a set of bookmarks that I got for Christmas and I have them randomly in some of these books because they weren't completely flat. So I put them in here and they've all been sitting there so now they're flat. Anyway, they're super cute bookmarks. But I got this because I heard good things about it and it was on sale and I just thought this is something I've been wanting to get so I might as well pick it up now. Another, same thing, I got this one, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel for the same reason. I've been hearing a lot of people say great things about it and it's on my list to read, so I decided I should get it. Also, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This one, again, on my list for a while and it was on sale and I saw it and I thought, I'm going to pick this up, so I got it. Okay, this one I got, here's another one of those animals, it's a little fox, it's so cute. I know they're not showing up very well, but it's adorable. Anyway, it's flattened now as well. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. And I don't know anything about this. It did, did have a step back apparently, but it's missing. There's nothing there now, but we do have a hole in the cover that now just shows me some writing inside there. So it doesn't matter, but um, this I know takes place in Spain and we lived there for a couple of years so I thought okay I'm gonna pick that up it was on sale the rest the rest of them are just ones that looked good to me too this is the house on mango street by Sandra Cisneros it, it's something that I've seen on some lists before about good books and so I was like it's on sale I'm gonna pick it up and then the Atlantis Gene by A.G. Riddle. I know nothing about this book. It says, the battle to save humanity has begun. That's it. I don't like to read the synopsis on the back. I guess that's another thing to know about me. If you don't know already, I don't like to read the synopsis that they have on the back because I want to go in as blind as possible. This is another one I had a bookmark in. This is a little, a little mouse, flattened mouse. Anyway, it's adorable. And this one is ripped, but it came from Second Sale, and so all of them have been owned before. But this is Laura Hillenbrand's Unbroken, and it says, A World War II Story of Survival, Resilience, and Redemption. I've just heard good things about her as a writer, and historical fiction, why not? while not my first genre to choose, it's something that I do always enjoy. I just can't read very many of them like in a row. I need breaks in between. So those are the ones I got from Second Sale. So now we're going to move to all of the Secret Santa groups that I was a part of this year for Christmas time. And the first one is the Library of Alexandria's Discord channel had a Secret Santa, and my Secret Santa, his name is Felipe Matias, and he got me The Dark That Dwells by Matt Digman and Ryan Roddy, which I have read this, the Kindle version of this, but I want to own it because I think my husband will really like it, and he does not, he likes physical books more than ebooks, so... I kind of got that one for him. I mean, I put it on my list to give to him. The other one, I'm so excited, The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. 
I have been wanting to read this. It's been on my list for a while. Well, since I started my channel, I think, and I heard everybody else talking about it. So, I'm excited about this one as well. Okay, these two books came from another Secret Santa exchange. This one was with Steve Talks Books and Things. His He doesn't have a Discord. He has a chat, like a forum. He has a forum. And so my secret Santa was Lauren from Paperback Empire. And she got me the first two books in the Nightmare Land Chronicles. Nightfall is book one and Lullaby is book two. I am currently right now reading book four, but they've all been on my ebook at least until I get to book six. Right? Okay. So I'm reading book five, actually, and so when I get to book six, that's the only other one I have in person, in physical form. So I am super excited to have these. Again, I'm going to try to get my husband to read them. Okay, then I was in, in a another Discord group called Romance YouTubers Discord group. That's not what it's called, but I'll link it down below. And we did a gift exchange as well. And I got these two books from Ezra. This is Good Vampires Go to Heaven by Sandra Hill. I don't think I've read any of hers, but I'm excited to check it out. And then my favorite author in any kind of paranormal romance, J.R. Ward. And this is called Claimed, The Lair of the Wolven Books. And I've not read any of those yet, so I'm happy that I have this one. And that's it for my gifted secret Santa things that I did online. Now, I, my son and I went to check out a five and below store that I hadn't been to. I haven't been to one in a really long time, but I got two books that looked really interesting. They're both nonfiction, but this one is called Take Care of Your Type. And it's an Enneagram guide to self-care. And I just wanted to check it out. And flip through it, see what it says for my type and then for the types of the other members of my family. And the other one I got is a little book of self-care breath work. Use the power of breath to energize your body and focus your mind by Natalia Westmacott Brown, I think is her name. And I know you can't see this. I will pop a picture up over here of this book. It looks like it's in a very easy to read format, like read little snippets at a time. So I might put this as part of my like daily reading and just read a little bit of this each day. I did see somebody was reading a book about breathing and that kind of stuff. And I thought, hmm, that might be interesting to pick that up when I was in the store. The other place that I got book a book from was the free little library, little free library, whatever it's called. There's one um, not far in my neighborhood. It's like a 10 minute walk away. And they had The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And I have heard people either like this or really don't like this. Like it seems to be extremes one way or the other. And so I am excited to try this. It does have a sticker on it that I'm going to try to get off, but it was a Good Morning America book club pick. So maybe that's why so many people read it, but Anyway, we will see what I think about it. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about what I got from my family members for Christmas. First of all, my in-laws didn't give me a book because they gave me all of the bookmarks. So there are, I think there are a total of 12 of them, 10 or 12 little animals like this, adorable. So my parents got me Memorial Ride by Stephen Graham Jones. This is his new graphic novel. So I, you can see my bookmarks in here, a regular like piece of paper bookmark because I didn't have any of my animals with me because this one I've already started. I'm like three pages in. I haven't really started. Okay, then from one of my boys, I got Great American Short Stories. This is the Dover Thrift Edition. And so I've already been like looking through here and seeing what all stories are in here. I know this does have an occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. And what's so funny about that is that I know that I had to read that when I was in school. And I remember either liking it or thinking it was cool or something, but I have no idea what happens. And so I am definitely going to go back and read that. This is just going to get added to my short story books that I'm reading through the year, and I'll read it when I get to it. 
Then he got me the latest two in death books. So Shadows in Death and Faithless in Death. At least I hope they're the last two. Like it's so hard to keep up with. And you know if you've been following the channel, I'm reading through all the in death books. And so these are numbers fifty something. And I'm already and I'm only on number nine. Eight or nine. I don't know. So this is going to be a while before I get to these, but I am wanting to start start getting them slowly, at least the new ones that come out. And so that is my plan going forward is to get the new ones and then maybe eventually I'll find the old ones somewhere. I did find Holiday and Death at my thrift store that I volunteer at. And so eventually maybe I'll find the others. My husband got me The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. This one has been on my list. I didn't realize I put the hardcover on the list, but I love it. Either way, I, I love it. I am so excited to read this book. I already started flipping through it yesterday and I noticed that each one of the chapter headers kind of, I don't think that, well, they're chapters, but the book seems to be divided in these big black sections and there are book titles, I guess because it's a book club and maybe that's the book that they're discussing at the book club. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I don't want to read everything that's about it. I just know that clearly there's a book club and there's vampires. So we'll see. And finally, my other son got me, it's so heavy, Song Teller, Dolly Parton. This is My Life in Lyrics, it says. And so the way I'm planning, oh, I have one of the bookmarks in there too. The way I'm planning to read this is exactly the same way that I'm reading this Hamilton book because this Hamilton book is a breakdown of each one of the songs and it tells like where Lynn was when he wrote it and what he was doing in his life and thinking about and all that stuff. And this is the same thing, only this is all about Dolly Parton's life. And so the beginning of it is it's just broken down into song lyrics and stories about her growing up and so i'm gonna do the same thing when i finish hamilton this will take over as my little daily reading music thing i'm so excited to go back and listen to her songs as i read about them that's what i've been doing with hamilton anyway not that i don't listen to those all the time but going back and listening to the songs as i re read about them so that's it that's the things that I ordered for my last order, and I actually ordered those books a while ago. They just didn't get here until around Christmas time. So, those that I ordered, the ones I got for Christmas in my various ways, and that's it. For the rest of the year, there's not going to be any more books that I buy. And I'm excited to get them all put on my shelves, get them off my desk that have been sitting here for a while, and start reading some of them. So thank you for joining me. If you've read any of these books, let me know down below which ones and what you thought about them and all that kind of stuff. If you want to buddy read any of these books, let me know and I will make a note about it. If you've made it this far, leave a book emoji of some kind and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!